You welcome back. This is Newsfile, your most authoritative news analysis show. And here on Newsfile, we put Ghana first. Um, now, I've got uh, some of your messages here. This one is coming from Joe in Awoshi. He says, which Kufo appointed, when Kufo appointed the Chief Justice, that was okay, but for President Mahama to appoint an EC chairman, people are calling on him to consult all political parties. Interesting. Um, this one from Pani in Adenta says, how can we talk of unity? Uh, okay, sorry, we are not discussing Hanatete here. Uh, different issue completely. Now, uh, this one from James in Tema. He says, Kofi Adams, was the constitution not there when the EC created 45 constituencies three months to presidential and parliamentary elections in 2012? Was it unconstitutional? <laughs> What's the point? Okay. Um, <coughs> Kisi in Takrade says, our constitution ought to be reviewed. It gives more dictatorial power to the president. The matter being discussed is sensitive and should be handled with absolute caution. So let's pray that the review commission's uh, recommendation, which is accepted by the White Ripper, survives the Supreme Court because Professor Kukwesari is challenging the whole process. If it survives, then what is going to happen is that Parliament shall have the opportunity to vet whoever is chosen. If we don't want it that way also, then maybe we should go back to another review process. Um, David in Kumasi says, who did President Kufour consult when he chose the other commissioners? Um, Yao Tewia in Adabraka says, we are concerned about the EC board's appointment because President Mahama used the law to appoint the NDC chairman and his vice as the bosses of NADMO. Okay. <laughs> NPP is behaving like the, like the country is for them. And when they lose an election, the EC chairman is not good enough. This is coming from Kwame. Kwame, as for the political parties, whoever loses the EC chairman is not good enough. Please, the authority <coughs> to appoint is the president and not the council of state. Read article uh, 43.2. David in Begro is saying so. <laughs> 43 to is just about the qualification of someone to be uh, an EC. And it simply is the fact that the person must be qualified to be elected to uh, parliament. parliament. <coughs> and then you have this one, you don't identify it. So it says something, this hullabaloo of expanding the process of appointing the EC boss is unfounded. You don't say further than that. Thank you very much. Um, before we went on the break, we are coming to the other issue, but uh, you were saying that you need just a minute each to be able to say some concluding remarks on this matter. So let's hear you, uh, Kofi, and then uh, Mike. Sure. I, I believe that around this table, we are, we are possibly trying to agree now with the shifting away from the original position being espoused, especially by the new patriotic party, about the president should consult broadly and so on and so forth. Now, listening to uh, Michael Quay, now there's some kind of shift that the appeal is more to the Council of State that is supposed to advise to do some consulting. But whether this consultation should be made public is what maybe people will be debating now. And like Kweku said, we are quite sure that the Council in its work have always been doing some consultation. And we must respect these honorable statesmen who have been put together on this council to continue to do as good. I, I you accept, don't believe that. I you accept. You the don't fact. believe the word on the street that it's an open secret that the council of state may may not do even anything in the process. So I just wait for a president to do pick whoever he wants, bring to them, and then they just endorse the person. I don't. I don't believe so. And that so. they themselves may not have averted their mind to the difference in. <coughs> Uh, consultation with and on the advice of the of, of that something I know the workings of the council have been closer mm. to some of them and have been closer to some decisions that have involved the council of state and I know that as against the perception out there the council of state in the past and now 
have really acted rightly on many issues. That's what I'm saying. Most of the things they do. Okay, maybe do it would be good for to them the, to come to the, to the, to the public, public and to tell us. But then, their but then there are instances where even the president I am, don't deal with that. I am, I am, I am, I am, them. I am in agreement with Kweku that to a very, very, very large extent, about 99.9 percent, .9%, the chairman of the electoral commission cannot determine the outcome of a result in a polling station. Indeed, of course. the chairman of the electoral commission is just a returning officer for the presidential election. The Koku and gave you an example I am where the chairman's uh, action or inaction I am can, that, can lead to a potential chaotic what situation. What I'm saying is that the chairman's actions or inaction, we have come very far, where results are known even at the polling station. Look, we have experienced the situation where we used to collect the ballot boxes to a collation center and did counting at the collation center. Today, we are the to results are declared yes, at, the polling, mm -hmm. at the polling station. Okay. So the chairman of the electoral commission is just a chairman out of seven commissioners. Mm. And we must begin to look at it like that and mm. stop putting okay. our faith in the hands of the chairman of an electoral commission. <coughs> Thank you. Mike. Well, um, I'm hoping that some Ghanaians, including my brother Kofi Adams here, are not suggesting that we can never review the constitution. No, no, no. no. And we I cannot said so. oh, let me land when you're talking about said so. And that we cannot also improve on certain perceived bad practices. All we are saying is that there is particular attention and tension when it comes to the EC. For example, they wasted 317 million that they have never wasted before. We are angry about that. And we want to be sure that the next person who comes in will take our consultations and our opinions on board before they go and waste that money. Mm. Secondly, and most importantly, <coughs> we are saying that initially, maybe by bad conduct or whatever, one thing that has happened is that the electoral commissioner himself has been the chairman, has been appointed once. It came right after military uh, rule. It came right after the INEC issue. So now we are looking at this situation where we want to improve upon our procedures and practices of before. And we are suggesting that this time, the advice should be looked at more than the consultation issue. Mm. And I am saying here, instead of him trying to say that this was said before, that was said before, those were issues that were not streamlined. Don't go back. No, I'm just, just saying they were not streamlined. <laughs> let us streamline the issue now. Mm -hmm. Because what was said here or there and everywhere is not the issue. Okay. There's so I'm, sure, I'm sure your party yeah, leaders so are me, listening yeah, to so you. So let me land on this. And they will, con they will yes, proceed from party your leaders points. Have been yeah. Let okay. me just land on this point. Our position is that the consultations in giving the advice must be broader. That is all. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Abdul Malik is not asking for an extra no, one okay. minute to do anything. Um, let me read this. It's, it's a tall message, but I think it's worth re the read. Uh, it's coming from Gabi Asarachirudako. And he says, we must ask ourselves, how come in democratic Africa, Ghana's constitution stands out theoretically as the least transparent when it comes to how the chairman and members of its electoral management body are appointed. Let me give a few examples to stress the point. In Burkina Faso, the selection of their EC boards is by civil society and the political parties for civil so uh, uh, for a fixed time. Fixed term is the most common everywhere. In as for the fixed term, Gabi, we I think we are we are in a, on the road to solve it because the Constitution Review Commission came up with had the, the concerns about that, and came up with a 10-year non-renewable fixed term. So if we are able to go through that process, it means the next electoral commissioner, perhaps maybe, uh, would have 10 years uh, fixed term. It says, um, okay, it says that the, uh, I want to continue with this text, is really very good because of how it sounds. Uh, it says also that uh, in, in Mauritius, the Judicial Commission selects and appoints. In Namibia, the Judicial Committee selects for the EC to appoint. In Niger, political parties and civil society select for the president to appoint. In Mozambique, political parties and civil society select for the EC 
to nominate and civil society to appoint. In Malawi, political parties select for the Judicial <coughs> Service Commission to appoint. In Mali, political parties and civil society select for the president to appoint. In Equatorial Guinea, the political parties, government, and the judiciary select for the EC to appoint. In Gabon, the political parties, executive, and the judiciary select for the constitutional court to appoint the EC boss. In even Gambia, the judiciary select who the president appoints. In Kivad, the legislature select for the EC to appoint its own boss. In DRC, the political parties and civil society select for civil society to appoint. In Cameroon, political parties and civil society select, okay, so the well, list well, goes on and well, on. Well, and well, finally, in Nigeria, well, in Nigeria, the president well, in consultation with the Council of well, State well, and the Senate select to be vetted by the Senate for the president to appoint. Thank you very much, Gabby. But That's Samson, quite exhausting. Where was he when we were doing the constitutional review? Where, 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 where was his position? No, he doesn't want that. You are the one asking for it. So you should have gone to the commission. Well, we can't make the decisions from hindsight. Okay. Well, so where were you? When we were well, doing the review, you bring well, this thing. Okay. When we have crossed. Thank you. Relax, relax. Thank you. We have. We have. Thank you, guys, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can we can we move on now? And this show, once again, is brought to you by Bank of Africa, strong as a group and close as a partner. You can contact them. They have branches all over the country, but the number to call is 0244-338-226. And that is when you will discover a product that suits your lifestyle or business. You try Bank of Africa, and <coughs> you will know that all along you've been shortchanged in your banking business. On Sundays, the footballers meet at the park. The Omotio guys are their joints. The church folks share their grace and friends and family come over to visit. But now, with the MTN Sunday special, your Sunday just got more special. For only 50 pesos, you can text and talk <coughs> all day, every Sunday. So, who is it that you love talking to? Is it your mom, dad, sister, brother, or that special uh, somebody? Just keep talking all day, every Sunday with MTN Sunday special. Send yes, the word yes, to MTN short code 5050 to sign up and say welcome to the new world. MTN, everywhere you go. The show is also brought to you by Sasso Spray. Sasso is fresh and powerful. It kills mosquitoes and it's smokeless. It doesn't uh, get you to catch Qatar, and that's an important point. Now, let me um, start with Abdul Malik on the <coughs> Justice William Atuguba concern about the GBA and its present character. Uh, Justice Atuguba believes that the GBA as presently constituted or in the, in the recent past has not been uh, that, <coughs> it seemed to be losing the credibility that it used to have and is getting, in, is getting too partisan and because of that, um, it has problems, and it's not becoming effective and efficient. Um, I read a story, a bit of a story that was done uh, as part of what he had to say from uh, my journal online. And it says, uh, Supreme Court Judge Mr. Jasiwila Tuguba has criticized the Ghana Bar Association for becoming docile in pursuing the national interest because of deep-seated partisan interest within the association. According to the judge, in sharp contrast to what the situation was some decades ago when the GBA was more politically colorless to the extent that even under military regimes, its, its sitting, um, its stink was felt. Today, the association had become aligned to political parties. I understand that we can hear uh, Justice Atuba, Atuba himself directly. So let's listen to him. From the glorious days of the Bar Association, we stood up consistently and strongly for the rule of law. Today, the same cannot be too readily said. There is a widespread perception that party politics has eaten deep into its ranks and clouded its potent militancy. It appears to be moved to speak out on important national issues from the slant of political party coloration but it appears to be up to reclaim lost territory, and this is very much in the right direction. 
The Attorney General's office has also lost much of his glory. Its operation these days cannot be fairly matched with the days of A.N.E. Emisa, Taylor, Jake Daku, etc. It is said that the conditions of service have for long stagnated there and may be the cause of his present situation. But this does not seem to be the exclusive factor. There were those days when, unlike today, high-ranking state officials, including former ministers of state, were prosecuted to conviction for various economic crimes. In the civil sector, we all know of several governmental international agreements which are founded at the Supreme Court. So you just heard Justice William Atuguba of the Supreme Court. Now, Kweku, I'm sure you I don't want to get to the lawyers first. I want you to <laughs> deal with to uh, what facts, <laughs> to uh, the, uh, the lawyer here first. Uh, um, mm. I want you to deal with the facts as you know them, mm -hmm. and then we'll bring in what some other lawyers are saying about what Justice Atuguba has said. says there's a widespread perception. Okay, so it's perception. Uh, in that case, I have no option, <laughs> Michael Quay. Uh, you're a lawyer. Um, what he says, I don't know what your take uh, is. He went to speak to students at the Faculty of Law of the University of Ghana as they celebrated the ISRC week. Hmm. Um, you know, <clears throat> one of the things about being on a platform like, you know, Joy FM uh, program is that um, news file and so on is that uh, you must sometimes be bold. You see, you must be bold following the, uh, uh, the statement of Kofi Adams' mentor, Nana Kunido Ajimai. Be bold, you see, to say certain things. Because otherwise, sometimes the program becomes boring. And that's why when we say some of the things, some people are not happy with it. But uh, I'll go ahead and say it. They say when you point like this at someone, you should be careful that three fingers are not pointing at you, the person who is making that assertion. So I will go in terms of the G GBA analysis, and then also a certain situation that we have here. He says, then he goes on to say, oh, this is a quote. The situation with the judiciary is not too different. There is a deep-seated perception of corruption and even political partisanship. This was something that came out in terms of perception. You see, I want to use that word um, to isolate myself. This perception is what led to a lot of the contempt of court issues during the Supreme Court. Do you remember? Where people, including senior newspaper journalists, senior political figures, senior lawyers, some of who had mates sitting on the Supreme Court bench, other political commentators who, in that case, was not direct attack on the judiciary. But they attacked the judiciary that you, the uh, Supreme Court, of which Atukuba was sitting on. So the Atukuba... He was presiding. Yes, he was presiding. He was sitting on at that time. Because it wasn't a, an empaneled body where he wasn't sitting on. That you, the judiciary, there is deep seated corruption and political partisanship, even in some of your rulings and some of your decisions, and even people suggesting that even in the final judgment. Hence, some of my complaints about the 6 3, later 5 4, and all the various things that senior lawyers, including Sambuku Jito, have come and talked about in this country. So I would want to advise reservedly, but because of the perception tag, that then the judiciary to the Supreme Court perception, that today should also clean that stable. Because somebody okay. made the I, joke. I just, I just want us to be yeah. careful so that we don't leave the topic we are looking at. It's about the GBA. But you, you rightly note that Jasatuguba critique criticized the GBA, the Attorney General's department, and didn't leave the judiciary. You just quoted him yes. what he said. You see, one thing... And he's talking about perception. Yes. So what's your take 
Um, What's your take on the questioning of see, the GBA? See, that's that's what um, we are something, looking for. Sometimes, when I am making my submission, as you know, as a lawyer, you can have five points that you want to make, but you can decide to make your three strongest points based on the fact that already Kweku was dealing with the GBA angle a lot. So to make your program richer, I, I, I gave, wanted to give oh, you the question. I know. <laughs> but your question was on Atugube's statements at that function. Yes, regarding Good. the GBA. Good, regarding the GBA. The and then I, I wanted to make it you richer. You one. see, you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are you are missing a certain ingredient I'm trying to put in your soup. And if you are not careful, I'll remove it from your soup. Your soup will not be delicious. It will just be bland. Because I am adding Who's a certain aspect. Oh, no, 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 hold on. I'm answering that you question. You deal with that, the, the question the first. One first. No, before you can, add, so you am add I not answering the question? You are not. I said that he's talking about the GBA, <coughs> but I'm adding the fact that he's talking about what he's the, talking the about. What he, what he is says about the GBA is it real or imaginary? That's what I'm coming to. So you, if you allow me to make the, the, the soup delicious, the oh, but you see, you also are not the host. But don't worry, you'll be speaking <laughs> soon. I'll be interrupting you a lot, and you will enjoy the program. You know. I won't allow but you to let that go. But you allow him don't to interrupt do it, me, don't do it, don't and do it. then aha, uh -huh, but you allow him. Yeah, you don't have the whole day. <laughs> Anyway, I see that today uh, you enjoy the interdictions of my... But it doesn't matter. Let me just uh, uh, go on to this issue. So I'm saying that, you see, he gave the example of the AG's department. He gave the example of the GBA. The GBA is supposed to be partisan and all of this. And I'm saying that this issue here, political partisanship, is... And I made the example. That's why I started by saying that. He's pointing at the GBA, saying something about them. And I'm saying that at the same time, too, there are certain fingers himself has pointed one at the, the judiciary, and there are two more, more salvos. So I want to even add to Justice Atugubes, because he asked for him, he's too senior a judge for me to uh, try to uh, deflate some of the things he's saying. So you are not as bold as that's you what, No, that's what I'm area. saying, perception. You are of a timorous a perception. soul. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> but moving on, on to this issue. Senior members of the bar also, like Aiku Uto, I've also spoken. Yes. And you see, there's nothing better for a lawyer than to quote senior lawyers or bigger lawyers because it also insulates you. I refer to Aiku I ask yes. you, you, you. Oh, no. So, you no, are no, a member so, of the and, GBA. And I'm going to agree with him. We have gone to GBA me... conferences together. <laughs> Tell me what you say of <laughs> the GBA. Thompson, today, 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 <laughs> today, today. You Let say what you... And no, Aiku Otu is here. Aiku Otu is here. I'll use it. Good. I'll use it, but yes. let me use it first. <laughs> so I'm stealing your thunder. Mm. He says that, no, the members of the bar may have certain partisan leanings, but in terms of the body, they are not. In terms of their commentary, their decisions, their output, <coughs> they are not. And I agree with him. I agree totally that that perception is not the case when it comes to the GBA. That is the short uh, assumption. But, but, but when but, it comes to the judiciary, it is the case. No. And that's why I said that with the judiciary, too, there's a perception. So he must also deal with that perception rather than dealing with just the GB, because both. it's a okay. dual Koku, sort. Koku, Koku, now we can, we can hear from you. Yes, I said I was struggling to appreciate, you know, exactly the trust of uh, what Justice Atuguba was saying uh, relative to the GBA. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with you. Mm -hmm. He was talking about the potency that the GBA exhibited Militancy. The militancy, rather, yes. During the era of military regimes. Right. Yes, that's true. The records are there. But during that period, the GBA was tagged as partisan. Okay? So the partisanship, in terms of their politics, the whole body itself, not just the individuals, was tagged as undertaking political activities. I have some of the resolutions here, the one on transition to the Fourth Republic. Beautiful exercises and activities that the GBA engaged in. It assumed a certain political character, even though they were asking for the rule of law to be reinstated, human rights to be observed, and all the rest. So I'm not sure. Post-military, GBA has again been accused of doing partisan politics even when they were dealing with things to do with 
the law do, do of I the get judiciary. you to say sorry do I get you to say that the GBA's character during the military era cannot be the same within the democracy uh, not not really I'm saying that something being political is not necessarily partisan okay and there are times that you take on issues that are exclusively judicial but they have political under undertones typical Justice Aban's appointment, if you recall, the GBA challenged it. Mm. But it was, that exercise was perceived as political. You, you, you get my point? Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure what he meant by they are partisan or they become less militant. I'm not sure because they've been doing it. Look, recently, even in recent times, when the NPP announced a boycott of the vetting of the Mahama, President Mahama's nominations, uh, nominees. Mm. The GBA was against it. They publicly asked the MPP to reconsider its stand. Was it a political decision? Was it partisan? I, I don't get it. I'm confused. Maybe for once I'm unable to interrogate the issue properly. I think there is something wrong somewhere. When Jake, this, uh, and he was part of the panel, they ruled in favor of Jake, and government announced that it was no longer over going to bungalow. sell yeah, over the bungalow. Mm. The GBA came out to caution government to be careful it doesn't uh, proceed into a legal minefield. Was it political? Was it partisan? I think we should look at the issues on each issue on its merit. Some will have political undertones. Because the issue itself is political. There have been reference to how Neil Samuels was dealt with by the GBA. Was that political? That's some say so. That's a claim. Yeah, some say so. What did the GBA also do? They are saying that he did not consult them. He did not express their opinion. That's what they are saying. But the case involved Chachuchi Kata, who is a huge political figure, a member of GBA as well. And they were about to go for a congress, if you look, a conference. Right. So it, people read politics into it. The chief justice, the incumbent chief justice, has been an attack, a target of merciless attacks, bordering on character assassination. The GBA came out to defend her. The, one of the jobs, the basic <coughs> duty of the bar is to defend the bench. That's correct. And yet when they did it, there were political issues raised because People were attacking the present CJ on the basis of how she was appointed. You recall, in this country, there, were, there was even a movement to try and get her out when President Mills assumed office. So what issue are we? That's why I say each issue must be dealt on its merit or demerit. Let's have the further and better particulars. What are the issues that Justice Atuba thinks the GBA did not handle properly or handled in a partisan manner or have been ineffective on? Otherwise, really, uh, I'm unable. That's why I'm confused. So you have just confirmed the perception of partisanship with that your reference to what the GBA had to say uh, in defense of the Chief Justice and, you know, it was per perceived as being partisan. Yeah, but I don't judge it as partisan. Okay. I thought they were undertaking an exercise that was within their professional remit. Okay. There are constituencies out there who saw it as partisan. Mm. I don't think Justice Atuwa must see that as partisan. That's why I'm confused as to where he's laying the emphasis. But with regards to the AG department, he's right, spot on. If you take judgment debts alone as a case study, it is obvious that something has gone wrong at the AG's department. You understand? Mm. So there's no doubt about that one. But the GBA matter, unless we are provided with more uh, particulars, okay. I will now, be unable to deal with it. Kofi, what do you say about it? Yeah, uh, Justice Atuguba is no mean a person when it comes to matters about law and uh, judiciary and what have you in this country. And Truly so, like you said, Justice Satuguba was speaking to student lawyers, learning and working very hard to join the, the bar soon. And the expectation is that you open and advertise the minds of people 
who are learning and working very hard to join a particular group that this is the challenge you are going to be confronting. And that you would have to live up to the expectation. You have to work very hard and behave in such a way that to win the confidence of the people. Looking at it from that point, I strongly think that it's a right call. I have had worries with some of the decisions of the Ghana Bar Association especially. Not too long ago, they made it very clear that they had reached a point that they would not make any comment that has anything to do with, 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 with political or partisan. There was that resolution in one of your uh, uh, conferences. Then, it, after... It is, it's, it's been said or corrected to mean the representation by a member and not a collective decision as uh, the, I, I, the body that itself. Was what, mm. That correction have not been told, some of us. As a long city, here, long I, still, I still hear clearly and still remember very well that position. The correction I have not, <laughs> have not heard. Okay. Please. Go on. So if that, is, if that is what they are saying, then they must come out strongly to clear the air. And when subsequently we started hearing the same bar association comment on matters some of us saw as partisan, as very political, then you ask the question, was it because you had your favorites in power then that you thought that as, as a body you were not going to speak to matters that you thought would be damning to a government then, and now you found your voices again? So when you leave these things out there, it tends to create that belief such perceptions, which Justice Atuguba was trying to echo. That is on <clears throat> GBA. But it is also true that these days, people start political, they become activists of parties even before they go to the law school. <laughs> so they live there and are, ve they, they are, they are party activists. So it sometimes clouds their, their judgment sometimes. So that is also there. In the past, many of these persons have finished their, their, their law school, have become lawyers, before maybe we started once again the Fourth Republican Constitution. So it was not too clear for you to be able to see their position. But these days, it is not like that. You can see clearly, when you go to the law school, you can see those who are TESCOM uh, uh, members, TEI members, this, that. And so before even they come out, you tend to see this kind of partisanship. They must work very hard to reduce it in their workings when they start. So for me, the Sassatuguba's call is in the right direction. The Attorney General's department also needs to work very hard. But, but, but like Kuku mentioned, you would find that, let's, let's face the truth, you would find that the NDC in particular <laughs> appears to, to re-echo a point that the GBA is overly MPP, or it's, it's, a, it's an appendage. In fact, some uh, NDC activists have had cause to say the GBA is an appendage yes. of the NPP. Yes, that's and, right. and my answer to them, my, uh, my question <laughs> to them really is, I don't know what they mean, because we come from various backgrounds to join the GBA. So if you sit somewhere and say the GBA is NPP, then you have lost. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, you may say that they have lost, but... The example that I've given you, for example, if at a time which you are trying to correct that it was a position of an individual, but it didn't come so. Mm. It came so clearly as GBA taking that position when the MPP is in power. Then when they exit, all of a sudden we see that very same body it now is, making very no serious pronouncement. No then what is, what is wrong if me, an NDC person, comes out to say this is what I see GBA be? It is up to them to work very hard to clear that perception that I have. Look, that they perception have was a responsibility before so, I am the advent saying that of the fourth they republic. Have, they have that responsibility to convince me beyond reasonable doubt that they are not... That is reasonable. if you are ready to be convinced. Two, on the Attorney General's is not. I, I accept the fact that, yes, he himself even mentioned it, that the issue of enumeration is one thing that we can look at, but it is not just enough. Mm. The issue of service should also count there, and they need to up their game in that area. Right. The bench. Okay. The bench also comes up for, for, for challenge. The fact that people feel that some of them have become...
partisans. So I believe that it's a good call. Mm. Let all of us advertise of Let the lawyers and bar know that the society is looking at them and they must live up to the expectation of society. Thank you very, very much, uh, Kofi Adams. And uh, like uh, uh, <laughs> Mike was earlier referring to uh, what uh, Ms. Aiko too has had to say, he says, for example, that the Bar Association is not partisan. He's, he stresses it is not partisan at all. Some members may have their own political interest, but the group is not partisan in any way. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's the bottom line of what he had to say. You've heard uh, Frank Davis, who has been the greater Accra, Accra president of the Ghana Bar Association for many years. <laughs> we, we called him Mugabe. <laughs> yes, Accra Mugabe. In fact, there were times when you know, the elections were announced in Accra, and not too many people were interested. So he had to you know, continue uh, stand election again, and he was voted again and again until he, the last time he just said he was fed up and then didn't contest. Uh, now is uh, Mrs. Ifwagate, uh, who is the president. Now, he says that um, some lawyers publicly disagree with the Bar Association uh, because, look, they are in the NDC and they, they, they don't seem to, uh, they don't come for GBA meetings, they don't attend conferences, and they only are specializing in opposing the things that the GBA says because they want to undermine the GBA's power and clout. He says these are renegade so lawyers so who should not be see, listening to. This feeds into um, that perception. It feeds into a perception. Yeah, that if you okay. say some lawyers, uh, how did he identify those that they are NDC and they are the ones who don't come for... Uh, no, it is because G those G lawyers who, who make the criticism yeah. are known. Yeah, like yeah, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are other lawyers who have also spoken Sometimes, uh, uh, again, some people have spoken for. And they for, don't hide it. That's spoken the point. For. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Kofi. Uh, I've got a few more of your text messages. Uh, let's see what we can do with uh, Ada in 20 minutes. Uh, okay. Let's, let's take a very final break. We'll return to deal with um, Ada and the gang rape mm -hmm. and kidnapping saga.